and pop, rock, hip hop, soul, soul, R&B, gospel. Yep. gospel, everything. But it's so. nice to have like somebody come in and look at it with fresh eyes yeah. or fresh ears and oh, I. Mm -hmm. But but also also picking songs. You know, we wanna we wanna pick the songs that that speak to us. You know, um, <laughs> along with our fans as well because. When you know when you're singing something that's that's close to your heart, you know it it comes out, it, it manifests in the in the right way, so that the fans can connect to it as well. So that's how we pick songs. You know they have to speak to us first before they can speak to the world. <laughs> yeah, no, I say especially because the way it came about. I mean, with the song, yep, "Don't Go Breaking My Heart," um, Stuart Crichton. Uh, we, we really feel like he took a chance with us and gave us something that was, that we were searching for, for a very long time, which yeah. was, um, we like to say a lightning in a bottle, bottle song. But we knew we were gonna only get one, we felt as if we were gonna only get one chance uh, to impact radio and for people to hear us. And we needed that song. And and now, you know, a Grammy nomination um, is, is recognition and and I think that, that it, it just means so much to us, especially because the way it came about with the song. We were looking for something that could resonate at radio, but at the same time still be true to who we are. what we are and who we are. And a song that, that is us not trying to be something that we're not, but something that's fresh and new, and Stuart did that. Maybe us five. <laughs> Wait. Okay. What? Wait. We're gonna be sure. Sorry, sure. Guys. Sorry. Like getting our, our stunt doubles. It's gonna be us five. <laughs> no, actually, we're right now in the midst of putting the uh, the show together. Uh, we're in the final stages of approving the stage design, which I think we've come up with a really really great uh, stage that we put together. Super cool. That's gonna be close, intimate. We're gonna have some moments where we'll be able to be intimate with the audience. You know, really close. Um, we've put together a, a great uh, set list uh, that we're fine tuning right now. But that's going to take our, all of our fans on a trip down memory lane with all the greatest hits, help them relive those moments that we helped them create those memories with, and um, also sprinkle on some new stuff. I mean, we're very proud of this new record, DNA. And uh, right now, you know, we've had some great love from the first two singles as well as the, the new uh, Gratz that's gone out, uh, No Place, and Breathe. And, you know, so we're going to hopefully, you know, see what songs uh, resonate for us between now and May, uh, the beginning of May that will you know, make the final decisions on what's gonna be on the show list. We, awesome. we, have a, we have a couple of good problems to have, okay? <laughs> yes. Um, the, one of the good problems we have is the catalog that we have. Ten and picking, you know, picking the right songs in the right show. You know, the fans wanna hear all the greatest hits. Uh, they wanna hear the ones that, that go, you know, take them back to grade school when they were eight or nine or 10 or 15. Um, but the, also we have a good problem of, you know, trying to not play too long. You know, there's a, there's a certain window where you wanna play about 90 minutes, 90 to 100 minutes. Um, we have probably about, uh, I would say two hours right now that we're trying to whittle down, you know, cut, you know, cut, the, cut the fat, we like to say, cut the fat out of the show, so. Uh, I, I do wanna say one, one last thing too. <laughs> um, we've been in, in Las Vegas almost for two years right now. Um, yeah. A lot of people haven't had an opportunity to come and see that show yeah. because they are li in other countries or they can't get out of their towns for whatever reason that is. Um, and I'm sure that they've heard, you know, the rumors or seen, you know, the the shows from maybe on YouTube, YouTube or whatever. Um, it's it's a big show, and it, in it's everything that you want to see from the Backstreet Boys. Um, so we want to make sure that this tour is comparable in a way, but new and fresh. And we want it to be explosive. We want it to be entertaining. Boom. And it's gotta be all of those things. And we're gonna bring you know, that to their towns. <laughs> that's where the Backstreet <laughs> Boys home. finally broke out. And that's where we first built our fan base. And we haven't forgotten about it. It's very special to us. And we wanna spend time there and go around to those towns. We have so many great memories there. Miss it. We have a lot of firsts that ever happened to us in Germany. The first time we were on the radio, the first time we ever got mobbed by a group of fans <laughs> in a stairwell outside of a radio station. Uh, a lot of firsts first stadiums, first outdoor stadiums, first, first arenas. 
first number one album, first number one single. We owe a lot. So we're going to celebrate that with them. Yep. So comparison of our shows in the 90s to today, what's the biggest difference? I think uh, our shows have gotten a little bit bigger. Um, more refined. And, you know, more, more, more refined. Um, I think uh, we've been a lot more involved, I think, now more than ever as far as the creative process, like building the stage. You know, back in the day, there was just a stage that was set up. We would obviously talk about the set list, but now we're like literally sitting there with our entire team. I've got my welding. Building it. I mean, we are like building the stage. Oh, yeah. Crank <laughs> he's in it. He's in it. He's in it there. He's got all the schematics. Yeah, he's there. But there's, I mean, obviously back in the day, it was a little bit more simplified. There's, there's one big difference is that um, we don't go down on our knees when we're dancing anymore. Nope. You know, we try to we we try to take that out of you know in the 90s. Can't get it back was, up. It was easy. Yeah, but, we can't get back up. You know, later on in life, it's it's hard to bounce back up that hmm. fast. So uh, we try to take that out. But the fans are going to see all the traditional you know amazing moves that they remember from the videos. 